Hey guys, JSQ here, and welcome back to a mud showcase where this one is actually pretty awesome. Uh, I got it all set up around here and stuff, but hold on, uh, I just need to pause the game a second, bring that up. There we go. Uh, I just got had to get my notes and the other screen. So um, yeah, this this mod is actually called Infusion Craft. Now you can't really see what it does yet. I got I got chests full of stuff that I'm going to be showing you what to do and stuff. As you see, we got. We got some little staffs in here. We got some a lot of this stuff which will be used to craft. Uh, we got we got a big hammer there um, called the Crusher, but that will come later. That hammer is pretty damn awesome, if I do say myself. But um, basically, this mod, what you are allowed to do, well, what it allows you to do is actually like combine ingots. Oh wait, it says um, it allows you to uh, combine different ingots and blocks to create some cool stuff. So um, it adds 10 more blocks, well 10 plus blocks, new blocks, uh, one new tool and armor set. Uh, you also get 20 plus new items and <laughs> and five new staffs and uh, yeah. And you also get one new mob as well which is called the Magicka Slime. So without further ado, I'm actually going to go and show you guys what this does because I'm just going to change it back to morning. Um, because I'm not going to stand here talking anymore, I'm going to show you what this thing is. So actually what you need to do it like the kind of base of this whole mod is this infusion table right here which we are going to make so firstly you'll need an infusion table so it is five obsidian three diamonds and just a furnace and then what you have to do is do it like uh, this so you put the obsidian like that the diamonds like that and that in the middle now the infusion table goes there right now when you go to put this down you need to just run away as soon as you do it because yeah it does that it, uh, it it does set on fire. So um, also it's kind of cool this because if I go time set, actually you just put nine, well nine thousand ten, which is that like I don't even know what that did. If we set it to night, as you can see it's quite dark, and then we stand on top of this infusion table, it gives us night vision. I didn't even know. I don't know if that's a bug or not, or it's meant to happen, but we get. <laughs> we get like unlimited night vision if we stand on top of this table which is actually pretty awesome so um, yeah don't know if that's a bug or not but it's cool <laughs> so right now we've put that infusement table down we are going to uh, right click so on the left hand side this is the fuel for it basically so I'll show you what you use for fuel in a second and then I'll show you what you can infuse on the side so the fuel when this night vision finishes is it going to finish or not so he's tripping. You gonna stab? I'm gonna change it back to the day. There we go. Right, so um the actual fuel for this infusement table, you need to put iron in there. That that's like kind of coal for the furnaces, like in it, that's different material which I'll tell you about in a sec, but yeah, it's got it's got iron ingots which is basically coal for this little table. It's like a furnace, but you use iron as the coal. And um, yeah, this is where I'm going to show you uh, a lot of the new little kind of items that you can do. So on the left hand side of here, we got our normal stuff. And then once you actually put it in the infusement table, so for example, diamond, we'll get titanium if we put it in here. So if we smelt di diamond, yep, that's that happens. Um, once that green bar at the top has actually gone across, then it'll turn it into titanium. And then... Yeah, you get the idea. So once you put that in there, it'll give you the thing on the right here. So obviously gold will give you silver. Redstone will give you a ruby. Lapis will give you blue crystal. Just stone, regular stone will give you reinforced stone, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, and orange dye will give you amber. And then coal will give you lignite. Now lignite is in these furnaces. It can be used as coal. It is actually um, a bit more efficient than coal. I think it lasts longer and it actually, uh, well, yeah, it basically lasts longer really. And you can also use blocks of it. So it actually, I think 64, I've got to see it in the wiki. It's got, um, where is it? Oh, okay. You probably want to stay back from this furnace, this infusement table as well, because it um, occasionally does have lightning strikes come down and hit it, as you can see. Um, <laughs> So yeah, actually, once that's actually done, that was the diamond. It's now smelted into titanium. Now, titanium can be used for a lot of things, which I'll show you what to do in, with it in a sec. But I'm going to put that back in there. Um, so yeah, what was I just saying before about this lignite? Basically, um, it's two times more efficient than coal, and one can smelt 
one Lich Knight can actually smell 16 items or blocks. So, yeah, as you can see, it didn't actually use any up by smelting that. Well, we haven't put anything in there yet, but one of these could smell like, say, 16 iron ore in one, basically. Not in one, but over time, it can smelt 16 before it goes down. So, Lich Knight is actually pretty damn good for a fuel. It's pre pretty much just fuel. So you need to know about Lignite. So now we are moving on to titanium. Now this titanium stuff is pretty awesome and I'm going to show you what it does in just a sec. So um, I'm going to put it in my inventory and then it's the crafting table. Pretty much titanium is um, obviously to get titanium you put a diamond in there and it will give you titanium on the bottom. So you need a lot of diamonds for this. So and it's pretty it's worth it trust me it is worth it so what you do with titanium once you have it you can actually make a whole set of titanium armor now what I'll show you does is this so as you see we've made the helmet it actually gives you enchantments on it straight away so we got protection for it on breaking too for the helmet it's pretty it's the same every time so as you can see it's protection free and unbreaking two again but um yeah what this actually does is enchants your armor straight away so you can see the legs give you protection too and breaking too and blast protection too. You also the chest plate will give you the chest plate's pretty good actually. Uh protection free on breaking two and fire protection one. It's kinda like an all round of this. And then the what was left? The boots. They will give you feather falling two on breaking three and protection two. So that set of armor is actually pretty awesome. I'm gonna put it on, I think. Put it on. Actually also it gives you um resistance too as well. I've only got night vision because I stood on top of this goddamn infusement table earlier and it's gave me night vision which is slightly annoying but uh yeah it gives you resistance too as well which is good um and also I'm gonna take this armor off because I got these goddamn <laughs> I got those goddamn little particles going around me um but yeah what else this can do is actually build tools and stuff so if we go to build a pickaxe it enchants that it gives you efficiency one fortune two and unbreaking four which is actually really good for a pickaxe um if you want a cheap well if you don't want to waste 30 levels on enchanting it then there you go that's that uh what you get for the axe i don't know if they're all the same you get looting two and unbreaking three for the axe um so we'll put that there uh for the spade you will get looting two fortune two and unbreaking four which is also good and now the hoe which a lot of people look down on basically this could actually prove to be a lot better because I know a lot of people go it's it's a waste of time using a hoe so as you see what I just did there was pretty awesome it's a waste of time using any hoe other than a wooden one because it doesn't give you any more attacking stats it doesn't have any other special abilities but this one does so um what this actually does it tills a three by three area of land so as you can see there it just does this instead of I think it's because that guy if there's any like grass blocking it it won't work but as you can see it is a lot quicker to use this titanium this titanium hoe so yeah that's the advantage with that titanium hoe it doesn't get any enchantments but it does a three by three area pretty much so we're gonna put all this back now that's pretty much titanium for you guys that's a pretty awesome set of armor and weapons that you can use um, so next I think I'm gonna show you some uh, pretty awesome staffs so let me put this hoe back uh, I'm almost gonna put this back in there so um yeah like I said here this was like everything you can use the infusement table this is like the base for everything so like, obviously smelting gold will give you silver and stuff like that which I'm gonna show silver comes into play in just a second here and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you how to make one staff because making all the staffs will uh, take a long time so what I'm going to do is um, I'm leaving the link in the description to the actual mod that you can go and download from this place and also um, yeah it'll have all the crafting recipes on there for you as well so um, yeah what I'm actually going to do now is actually create something called the smelting staff now what this smelting staff does I will tell you in just a second but first what we're going to do is actually make this thing so what we need is um, two nether bricks blaze powder by obviously putting a blaze rod in a crafting table um, you get blaze rods from killing blazers and then if you put a blaze rod in a crafting table then you will get blaze powder and then coal and a furnace obviously they're pretty easy to get so also what you need now is two other things you need a silver rod now in order to get a silver rod you have to uh, smelt 
I don't know, actually, hold on. Uh, so you have to smelt gold in this infusement table and you'll get this thing called silver. Now, what this silver does is if you actually, if you put it in a furnace, it's not yet, you don't put it in a furnace yet. You um, you need to use four in a crafting table like this. And that will give you a silver plate. Now we need two silver plates, basically. So if we do that, two silver plates, forget about the furnaces part, I didn't, I was getting mixed up with something else, which is in the next chest actually, so... Yeah, uh, forget I put use the furnace. You need two silver plates, which is by using eight pieces of silver. So that's eight gold ingots. Really? So yeah, once you have your two silver plates, you can put them down like that, and that'll give you a silver rod. So there's our silver rod. Um, and then in order to make this thing called a... I its name, what was its name? It is called the flaming slime ball now in order to get this you need to kill a new mob so actually what I'm gonna do actually I didn't show you the sword in this one did I that's a bit unorganized right hold on I'm just gonna show you the sword so in order to make the sword it's the same as normal but what you get is not back two on breaking four and fire aspect one so once we have that I'm gonna use that um, you need something out uh, to make the flaming slime ball you need a fire charge and a magical slime ball now you get this magical slime ball from a new type of mod mob added into this mob mod um what the hell am i saying i keep getting mixed up with mob and mod so i'm going to start again <laughs> you get the flaming slime ball by combining a magical slime ball with a fire charge now in order to get the magical slime ball you need to kill something called a magical slime funnily enough and uh it's what they look like. I don't know why they're spoiling it. There we go, there's a big one. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like. They're a new mob added in by the mod. And uh, if you kill them... Now that, that knockback is crazy. If you kill the little ones, they'll give you slime ball. But like these ones will also work the same way as slimes. Like When they die, they will actually... They will actually like go into the smaller little slimes. Like this. So as you see, I've picked up like 12 magical slime balls now. So yeah, you can find these only in ice or snow biomes. So like, yeah, you can find them in snow biomes pretty much. That's the only place they spawn. Um, did that get, have we got looting on this sword as well? No, we haven't. I wonder why he dropped two. I thought he dropped two then. But yeah, um, this magical slime ball, that's how you get it. So we're going to put them back in there and just use one. And at a fire charge, in order to make a fire charge, it is this recipe. Use blaze powder, coal, and gunpowder in a crafting table to give you a fire charge. This vanilla stuff, so you should know that already. Um, now this recipe is shapeless, I think, so you can put them in any order around here like that. But yeah, you just need a fire charge and a magical slime ball, and then that'll give you two flaming slime balls. So if we just put one in there for now, and then go ahead and craft this thing. Now, in order to craft it, you do this. Now it's pretty much like it's not the same for every staff. Every staff has different ingredients that you need. But this is the one to make the smelting staff. Now, once we've got the smelting staff, I'm going to get the other four staff, three staffs out here and show you what they do. So, the smelting staff, what it does is when you destroy a block, it'll smelt it. So, it's pretty much auto smelt. Um, so, I'm not going to do on the. Actually, it may as well. So, if we actually go into this and then mine this gold, it'll turn it into a gold ingot. So, see, it auto smelt it. Normally, it'll give you gold ore, but that auto smelted it into a gold ingot, really. So, that was pretty awesome. Uh, I also need to just quickly get some gold ore back, because I wasn't supposed to do that. So, we'll just put that back in there for now. Right, so that was the smelting staff. Let me put these in order and show you what they do. And change it back to morning. Right, sweet. We have the tree staff. Now what the tree staff does is if you actually mine a tree while sneaking, so you press the shift and sneak and then you hit the tree, it will actually Yeah. It will actually chop down the whole tree for you. It doesn't work if you're not shift clicking. So you see I'm not shift clicking now, it will just do that. And then if you shift click and do that to the tree, it will break like I think it breaks trees around it as well, so you've got to be careful if you do that for a whole forest so yeah this one's actually pretty good for gathering wood um, so yeah we also got the experience staff is if you right click it'll, it'll just keep giving you XP and it's got um, 30 uses so if you do that for 30 times it will break 
There we go, that's broken. And then we got the fire staff, which is pretty awesome. So, if you got any mobs coming towards you, you just right click and, um, yeah. It actually is pretty destructive as well. So, yeah, these are the staffs pretty much added in by the mod. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. This one is. Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that there. Um. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's the staffs for you. That you can obviously go into creative and uh, mess about with them yourself. But I'm just going to quickly show you the overview of all these. Um, these aren't all the recipes for the things. Like the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you two more things in this mud showcase, which I thought were awesome. Um, one is that little chest over there, which has that hammer in, and this one here. Now this one is pretty damn awesome because you get like the most OP sword I've ever seen in a mod basically so I'm gonna show you how to make this sword first and then show you like a really OP chest plate as well which you get so um, yeah this sword we're making is actually called Krasenko's sword and it is a really really good sword really really yeah so um, I'm gonna show you what to do to get the different components of this obviously um, you got the rubies by using redstone so as you see over here we got the redstone that makes rubies if you put it in here um, and then we got a gold chunk which I'll show you how to get that in a second we got these reinforced stone plates and we got titanium rod and amber is actually made by getting orange dye and putting that into the infusement table and that will give you amber so yeah that's ruby and amber they're the two easiest to get out of this whole like kind of recipe so uh, I'm going to show you how to get these reinforced stone um, uh, well reinforced stone plates so in order to actually get these what you need to do is, um, like I put here, one regular stone and then reinforced stone. So if you put one regular stone in here, it'll give you reinforced stone like this. And then, in order to make a reinforced stone plate, you need to put four stone like that. And then it'll give you an unstable plate. Now what you need to do with that unstable plate is actually put it in a furnace. And that will smelt it into a reinforced stone plate. And obviously, as it says here, if you drop the unstable plate, it will just delete. So when you drop it, it will disappear. So you need to smelt it first to a reinforced stone plate, and that will give you pretty much that. That is probably the um, the hardest thing to get, I think, for this recipe. The uh, gold chunk isn't that hard, to be quite honest. So I'll show you what to do for the gold chunk in a sec. But to make this titanium rod, what you need is two pieces of titanium by infusing two diamond in here to give you two pieces of titanium, and then go to crafting table and then just do a stick like that and then it'll give you titanium rod basically that's so yeah that's how you get your titanium rod it's also pretty easy it's just uh, you gotta find your diamonds first which could be the problem but uh... yeah we're gonna move on to this gold chunk now this is where we're gonna come over to here so this is gonna be the grand finale all the this big sword we're gonna make and this chest plate so in order to actually get a gold chunk you need this thing called the crusher which is a hammer so once you actually destroy an ore it'll crush it so in order to actually make this, you need another magical slime ball by killing those magical slimes. And um, you need two rubies by infusing redstone in the table and a blue crystal which is infusing lapis in the infusement table. And uh, yeah, that's how you get that. So we are going to quickly do this and obviously two titanium rods as well. So yeah, we're just going to quickly make this hammer. So there we go, The uh, it's called the Crusher. So once you actually have the Crusher, I'm going to switch into this game mode. And uh, what you actually do is just mine a block. And it will break and give you the cobblestone ore and the ore out of it. So what it gives you there is emerald chunk. But what we need for this recipe over here is a gold chunk. So obviously you mine gold ore and it will give you a gold chunk and two cobblestone as well. So we're going to put that gold chunk there. And what we're going to do now is actually craft this thing because we have everything. So the gold chunk goes there put these two here and then two rubies on top and then titanium rod and the amber here and that will give you something called Krasenko's sword now this sword if you just look at it oh my god right as you see here this titanium sword it uses 6.5 attack damage which is pretty good you know decent but this one gives you 54 attack damage that's like a one hit on most things there probably won't be a one hit on the ender dragon probably be like three hits but uh, 54 attack damage is a crazy amount of damage. Like a, a diamond sword, seven attack damage or eight. I think it's eight attack damage, and um, this one's 54 attack damage. Now you can kind of guess how OP this sword is, really. And um, yeah, its enchantments pretty much tell you: knockback two, unbreaking four, fire aspect three, sharpness five, looting three, bane of arthropods two. 
Now, this sword is probably the most OP sword, other than the Bane of Pigs on Hexit. Um, that's probably the most OP frying pan I've ever seen, but yeah, this sword is the best you're going to get. This is the best sword you could probably ever get in anything, really. It's OP, but yeah, we have an OP sword. Now, I want to show you an OP chest plate before I end this video. So, <laughs> I just literally, this mod showcase, guys, has been me showing you like recipes and how to make things on here because. Really, I can't really show you anything here that... This is mainly like a crafting mod to get you awesome little staffs and... Swords and chest plates and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Like I did last time, I'm going to show you how to make this chest plate. So, you need two silver plates, obviously by putting four... What do you call it? Silver by... So you obviously smelt gold in this infusement table and it will give you silver. You put four of them in there and you need two silver plates, so you need eight silver for that and uh, you also need these reinforced stone plates which I just showed you how to get and that emerald chunk as well also need that stuff by mining emerald with this beast of a hammer that I have here yes Look at that this sword actually looks really nice um, I, I just thrown that out there but yeah that's in order to make this chest plate it is called a reinforced stone chest plate and it's a really strong one it says here um, so yeah what we do is this and then put that amber in the middle and there we go just have a quick look at that protection 5, unbreaking 4, fire protection 4, blast protection 4 projectile protection 3 that chest plate is super OP so as you can see only that I only just put the chest plate on I have nothing else on right guys you see here nothing else no helmet no legs no feet or boots and that's look how many armor rating that just gave me it's gave me loads plus the enchantments which makes it even better so this sword and that chest plate together you're probably going to be the o most OP thing in the game really so uh, yeah this is probably the highest you're going to get in the mod you ain't going to get anything better than these two items really um, other than those staffs those staffs are pretty good but obviously it depends what you do and they're more like kind of tools that you want to use like resource collecting things but these are more like these are the most powerful things in the mod really so yeah um there's a lot of more things in the mod such as like an ender pouch which is pretty much like an ender I'll show you the ender pouch it's a uh, the ender pouch it is pretty much a an ender chest but you can carry it round with you really basically so yeah that's pretty much what an ender pouch is and that's probably most things I've covered in this mod um, there's obviously other things in this mod that I haven't covered because they are not awesome enough to show you guys because all you guys are awesome and uh, yeah I guess that's pretty much it from me for this video so yeah guys as always leave that like if you enjoyed this video and this has been more of a it hasn't really been it showcased the mod but I've also showed you how to create items as well which is also something I like doing like little tutorials for you guys and um, yeah like I said if you enjoyed this mod showcase slash tutorial video then leave a like for an awesome video and also subscribe if you haven't already because you guys are awesome so guys it's been JSQ and I guess I'll see you in my next video peace